Welcome to part two of Learn JavaScript. It's all about variables. In programming, a variable is a container for a value. You can think of variables as a leader containers for information that lives in a computer's memory. Information is stored in variable such as username, account number, or even personalized greeting can then be found in memory. Variable also provides a way of labeling data with a descriptive name. So, our programs can be understood more clearly by the reader or ourselves. In short, variables label and store data in memory. There are only a few things you can do with variables. Create a variable with a descriptive name, store or update information stored in a variable, reference or get information stored in a variable. It's important to distinguish that variables are not values. They contain values and represent them with a name. In this lesson, we will cover how to use the var, let, and const keywords to create variables. Let's create a variable. To create a variable in JavaScript, use var keyword and put a name for your variable and put a equal to sign and put the value of variable. Let's create it inside our code. Var my name, the value of my name, which is Arya. Let's consider this sample. Var, short for variable, is a JavaScript keyword that creates or declares a new variable. My name is the variable's name. Capitalizing in this way is a standard convention in JavaScript called camel casing. In camel casing, you group words into one, the first word is lowercase, then every other word that follows will have its first letter uppercase. Equal to sign is the assignment operator. It assigned the value aria to the variable my name. Here, the aria is the value assigned to the variable my name. You can also say that the my name variables initialize with the value of aria. There are some general rules for naming variables. Variables names cannot start with numbers. It can only start with letters. Variable names are case sensitive. So my name with capital N and my name would be different variables. Variables names cannot be same as keywords like console, var, and etc. For a comprehensive list of keywords, check out MDN keyword documentation. Exercise. You need to do this four step of this exercise by your own. First of all, declare a variable named favorite food using the var keyword and assign to it the string pizza. Let's create favorite food, use var keyword and assign favorite food variable to value pizza. Part two. Declare a variable name num of slices with the var keyword and assign it to the number 8. var num of slices equal to 8. We put 8 inside the num of slices variable. Under the num of slices, variable use console.log to print the value saved to the favorite food. console.log favorite food. 
And the last part of this exercise, on the following line, use console.log to print the value saved to numos license. Great. Console.log num of slices. Save the file, refresh the page, and you see pizza, which is the value inside favorite food variable, and eight, which is the value inside num of slices. There are a lot of changes introduced in the ES6 version of JavaScript in 2015. One of the biggest change was two keywords, let and const, to create or declare variables. The let keyword signals that the variable can be reassigned a different value. Let's create a variable meal and change its value. I define a variable mail with let keyboard and set it to pizza then console.log mail and check the result then I reassign mail with a new food then console.log mail again what do you expect in the console.log yes it's burrito so the value of mail changed in this line and it converted from pizza to burrito in the console Another concept that we should be aware of using let is that we can declare a variable without assigning the variable a value. In such a case, the variable will be automatically initialized with a value of undefined. Let's define a variable price and don't set any default value to it and console dot log price what we expect in the result is undefined you see later we can set a value to price and log it again into the console and it will show the reassigned value Exercise. Let's do this three step of this exercise. First of all, create a let variable called change me and set it equal to the boolean true. Let change me and set it to true. The first step. On the line after change me is declared, set the value of change me to be the boolean false. Change me to false. To check if change me was reassigned, log the value saved to change me to the console. Console.log change me. And check the result you see it changed from true to false the const keyword was introduced in ES6 and is short for the word constant just like with var and let you can store any value in a const variable the way you declare a const variable and assign a value to it follows the same structure as let and var. Take a look at the following sample. Let's create a constant value my name. Here I want to define a const variable my name and set it to 
Gilberto. Console.log my name and check the result. We define a const variable and log it to the console. A const variable cannot be reassigned because it's constant. If you try to reassign a const variable, you get a type error. Constant variables must be assigned a value when declared. If you try to declare a const variable without a value, you'll get a syntax error. If you're trying to decide between which keyword to use, let or const, think about whether you'll need to reassign the variable later on. If you do need to reassign the variable, use let, otherwise use const. Exercise. Create a constant variable name food and set it to equal to the string pizza. Let's do that. Let's get rid of this code. Const food pizza. Just to check that you have saved the value of pizza, log it to the console. Console.log food and check the result. Yes, we have pizza here. Paste the following code to the bottom of your code. Just copy food equal to tacos. What happens if we refresh the page? You get type error because you cannot assign to a constant variable. Mathematical assignment operators. Let's consider how we can use variables and math operators to calculate new values and assign them to a variable. Check out the example below. Let's create a variable with let and define a and set it to 4 then we assign a equal to a plus 1 what happened to a let's console.log a and check the result you see there is 5 so in this example we created the variable with the number 4 assigned to it. Then a equal to a plus 1 increases the value of a from 4 to 5. Another way we could have reassigned a after performing some mathematical operations on it is to use built-in mathematical assignment operators. We could rewrite the code above like this. Instead of a equal a plus 1, we could just remove this part and use plus equal. It's same as a equal to a plus 1. Let's check the result and you see we get same result with this operator. We also have access to other mathematical assignment operator Let's subtract, multiply, and divide, which works in similar fashion. Let's try some of this. Here, I defined x with 20 and set x multiply equal to 5. Let's check the result x in the output. You see, it's 100 because multiply 20 by 5 will be 100. Exercise. Use the mathematical assignment operator to increase the value stored in level up by 5. Let's get rid of this code 
and define level up to 10 then set level up plus equal 5 and console.log level up check the result it's changed from 10 to 15 because of this line use the subtract equal mathematical assignment operator to decrease the value start in power level by 100 let's define power level and set it to 150 then change power level minus equal 100 and console.log power level check the result you see 150 minus 100 will be 50 use the multiply assignment operator to multiply the value stored in multiply mean let's create multiply me and set it to 5 then multiply me star equal to 11 and console dot like multiply me in the console you see it's 55 because 5 by 11 will be 55 and the last part of this exercise Use divide equal mathematical operator to divide the value stored in quarter mean. Let's set variable quarter mean to 100 and use mathematical assignment operator slash equal to 4 and log it into console quarter mean. Let's check the result. You see. There is 25 in the console. Other mathematical assignment operators includes the increment operator and decrement operator. The increment operator will increase the value of variable by 1. The decrement operator will decrease the value of variable by 1. Let's do that in action. I just get rid of this code and let a to 10 and use increment operator a plus plus and console.log a what do you expect in the result let's check it it increased by one and if i use i minus minus and check it into the console it will be 10 again because it decreased by 1. It's exercise time using increment operator and increase the value of gain dollar and use decrement operator to decrease the value of loss dollar. In previous exercises, we assigned a string to variables. Now let's go over how to connect or concatenate a string in variables. The plus operator can be used to combine two string values even if those values are being stored in variables. Let's define in our code a variable my pet and set it to name of your pet lucky. Console.log and here we want to use plus operator to connect two strings together. The first string is I own a pet and use plus and here put my pet variable. What happened in the console is interesting because 
you have I own a pet lucky the value of my pet which is lucky will be written into the console and the plus operator concatenate I own a pet to the value of lucky and printed it together here exercise create a variable named favorite animal and set it equal to your favorite animal and use console.log to print my favorite animal is the name of your animal to the console use a string concatenation so that animal is replaced with the value in your favorite animal you can use the same pattern I have used here I can just change my favorite animal is and here cat I change the, my variable to favorite animal and replace it here then check the result my favorite animal is cat you can change it to dog in the defining the variable and check the result it changed from cat to dog in ES6 version of JavaScript we can insert or interpolate variables into a string using template retrials. Check out the following example where a template retrial is used to lock a string together. Here I define my pet to lucky and inside console.log I use template literal with backtick and inside there I just put I own a pet and to put the value of my pet inside template literal I use this expression and here I put the variable my pet let's check the result you see I own a pet lucky so the value inside my pet replaced with lucky and they join together and locked in the console notice that a template retrial is wrapped by backticks this key is usually located on the top of your keyboard left of the one key inside template retrial you'll see a placeholder like my pet the value of my pet is inserted into the template retrial when we interpolate i own a pet my pet the output will print is the string i own a pet lucky one of the biggest benefits to using template retrial is the readability of your code Using template withdrawal, you can more easily tell what the new string will be. You'll also don't have to worry about escaping double quotes or single quotes. Exercise. Create a variable called my name and assign it to my name. Here, create variable my name and assign it to my name create a variable called my city and assign it to your favorite city name let my city and assign it to your favorite city name Montreal use a single template withdrawal to interpolate your variable into the sentence below Use console.log to print your sentence to the console in the following format. Let's copy this format and here use console.log and create backtick and inside that paste this code. My name is name and instead of name, remove it and replace with a placeholder for my name 
and replace city with a placeholder for my city. Check the result. You see, my name is John and my favorite city is Montreal. While writing code, it can be useful to keep track of data types or variables in your program. If you need to check the data type of a variable, value, you can use the type of operator. The type of operator checks the value to its right and returns or passes back a string of data type. Let's create a variable a, let a equal to 10, and console.log type of a. What do you expect in the result? The, the type of A is number, so there is a number as the output of console.log. What happens if we change the value of A to 10? Let's console again, type of A, and what do you expect in the second log? Refresh the page. You see, it changed the data type of A from number to string because of this line. Exercise. Use console.log to print the type of new variable. Let's create a new variable. Suppose you have a new variable to hello and console.log type of new variable. Check the result, it's a string. Now let's check what happens if we reassign the variable. Below the console.log statement, new reassign new variable to 1. Let's change new variable to 1 and console.log again and check the result. It's number. So because of this line, it converted from a string, the type of new variable, to number. Let's recap what we learned in the variable section of Learn JavaScript. This lesson introduced you to variables, a powerful concept you will use in all your future programming. Let's review what we learned. Variable hold reusable data in a program and associate it with a name. Variables are stored in memory. The var keyword is used in pre-ES6 version of JavaScript. Let is preferred way to declare a variable when it can be reassigned and const is the preferred way to declare a variable when a constant value. Variables that have not been initialized store the primitive data type undefined. Mathem mathematical assignment operators make it easy to calculate a new value and assign it to the same variable. The plus operator is used to the plus operator is used to concatenate a string including a strings value held in the variables. In ES6, template reflar or uses in ES6 template reflar use backticks and the placeholder to interpolate values into the string. The type of operator keyword the type of keywords return the data type as a string of a value. That's all about variables and you are ready to define variables. So don't forget to follow other videos about learned JavaScript to find out more about this interesting language.